today I am going to do a get ready with me for the rodeo. So it is rodeo season here in Houston and I am going to be going to the Prince Royce concert. Let me know in the comment section if you went to the Prince Royce concert or what other concerts you're going to and just use some of my favorite products in this video. Whoa. I just... Oh my god. I just heard really loud thunder and that's really not a good sign since it's gonna be raining and we're gonna be walking outside to the stadium and I really 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 don't want it to rain. No. My hair, my makeup, especially my hair in this weather, my hair will not stay. It gets frizzy, it gets puffy. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Sylvia. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video and give this video a thumbs up. All right, so let's get started. So I'm first gonna go in with the Too Faced Hang over RX primer so this is one of my favorite primers I like it because it's hydrating and it also makes my makeup last a really long time even though I have oily skin I still like my skin to feel hydrated but not oily I like to use a hydrating primer and then I like to go in with a pore minimizing primer in my t-zone area so that is what I am going to do so the last time I went to the rodeo it was for the J Balvin concert and that was pretty fun I really really like that concert this time I'm gonna go with my cousins so it's gonna be like a cousins night out and I cannot wait because I love spending time with my cousins they're so much fun I love them all right so then I'm gonna go ahead and apply what is it Ugh. oh my god so for my t-zone i'm gonna use the tatcha silk canvas primer i know they have a mini version of this primer now so it's like a lot more affordable if you didn't want to buy the full size this primer i didn't like it at first but then it kind of grew on me so now i kind of do like it and i'm actually like almost running out if you guys can see but i don't think i would buy the full size one again i think i would buy the mini size one um just because it does get kind of messy on the inside just because it is not a pump and I know it does come with a little disc where you're supposed to scoop out the primer but I always misplace it I don't know where it's at so I just got a facial yesterday and a microdermabrasion so microdermabrasion basically they use a machine over your skin and it basically removes all of the dead skin cells the top layer of dead skin cells I like to get microdermabrasions I was doing them a lot last year but then I stopped when I started doing more treatments for my acne scars but then now that I've taken a a break from treatments for my acne scars I kind of wanted to start doing my microderm facials again so my face is a little red and it does feel a little sensitive right now um, they also did a whole bunch of extractions I had not had extractions in a really long time so extractions is when they take out like the black heads white heads from your skin any like gunk and like clogged pores that you have they just take them all out so I feel good for them to do that because I haven't done that in a long time and I had such congested pores just because I just you know wear a lot of makeup sometimes when you don't go and get extractions or clean your face really well especially if you have acne prone skin like mine you get really congested pores and if you don't constantly clean them out or at least once a month then they get really really clogged and then you start getting black heads white heads breakouts and things like that so yeah I am gonna start going each month hopefully to get the micro microderm facial so i do have like redness some red spots from the extractions as well since i want like really full coverage i'm gonna go in with the huda beauty full filter foundation and just use like a really really tiny amount of this foundation because it really is very thick and full coverage and you really don't need a lot that's all i'm gonna use and then i'm gonna mix it a little bit with the buildable blur thrive cosmetics cc cream just like one tiny pump and and I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that. Dot it on my face with my finger. We are going to the rodeo, baby. So I need some full coverage. <laughs> to blend it out, I'm gonna use my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. I really like this foundation brush. If you guys wanna try it out, I do have a Sigma Beauty discount code. It's Sylvia M Beauty. So I'll put the link down in the description box if you guys want to check out any of their brushes they do have a two-year warranty so if they mess up or anything like that they will replace them for free in those two years and actually this one i've 
been having for many years like i don't know more than three years and it's still good and they're also cruelty free so just letting you guys know so i love the rodeo but what gets to me is just all of the walking and the hassle to get to the rodeo there's so much traffic there's so many people yeah it gets really really crazy especially when there's like a really popular artist hopefully there's not like too much traffic today just because the weather is not the greatest i am expecting the traffic to be kind of bad and i did not have time to clean my brushes so probably not a good idea to use a dirty brush uh the day after i have a facial and have my pores cleaned out but whatever <laughs> sometimes we just don't have time to be cleaning our brushes and stuff i have not cleaned mine in probably over a month so it's definitely time for me to clean my brushes but of course i need to find the time so i'm just gonna go over that with a beauty sponge just to make sure that it's blended and i push it more into my skin by the way i just got lash extensions and i know i said that i was not gonna do lash extensions again because it damaged my natural lashes but i did have a credit with the lash studio and they automatically just charged my account so i went ahead and scheduled an appointment I'll also, I am gonna go to California next month so usually it really is convenient to have lashes when going out of town because I mean I can do my makeup a lot faster I'm always on the go when I'm out of town so I like to get lash extensions when I go out of town so that's the only time um, but I don't feel like I will keep up with my lashes unless I am gonna go out of town again or anything like that I know I know I said I wasn't gonna get them and I did okay so I'm just gonna grab a little bit more and apply it where I feel like I need more coverage so just like with my finger I have to apply a lot around my nose because I've had the worst freaking allergies the last past two days I literally couldn't breathe through my nose it was really really bad I don't think I've had like allergies that bad in a while or probably ever so I'm really surprised I don't know if it's because like after you turn 30 all this crap starts happening to you but that's kind of like how I feel um after turning 30 to start getting more weight my allergies are just really bad i'm really tired and shit like that and yeah I, i'm like beginning to think that like all of this is happening just because i turned 30. <laughs> why couldn't it be a sunny day today why i also like noticed that i have like a little bit of freckles right here and i have no idea where they came from or when they came from okay so i'm gonna apply concealer i'm using the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer so this one's still one of my favorite concealers i just really really like the coverage it is a little yellow for my skin tone so sometimes my under eyes look kind of yellow but um i still really like it this is in the shade vanilla and i'm just gonna blend it out with my beauty sponge I'm using the Thrive Cosmetics Beauty Sponge. I just really like this sponge a lot. And then I like to use the other end of the sponge to blend out the edges, like so. And then I do my forehead, my nose. And then I like to go in with a brush, just blend it out a little bit more. Because sometimes concealer tends to like stick to the skin. Also because I do have lash extensions, I feel like the brush will get on those areas that a sponge does not. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes or where I applied concealer with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder. I've been really, really liking this powder. However, it is very messy. I did do a review on this powder and the Fenty Beauty Concealer. If you wanna check it out, I'll put a link up here and down below. But I have been using the powder a lot. It's said that I do have to be very careful with it because it is very messy. Um, but I really like how it just smooths everything out and because I have oily skin it actually controls my oils compared to other powders so this is in the shade butter take out the creases with my finger or a brush and set so you always want to set your concealer your foundation because if you do not set it with powder it's gonna crease and it's also gonna start to come off and not at last as long especially if you have oily skin it just mattifies and it just looks so good 
So now I'm gonna use the Mocha Matchstick by Fenty Beauty. I like to apply it on the back of my hand first. So I apply like a really generous amount on the back of my hand. So this is the Sigma F04. This is like a very softer brush. I like to grab the product from the back of my hand and then apply it where I want to contour. I feel like it just gives like the best application this way because the mash sticks are kind of like a drier formula but when you apply it on the back of the hand it kind of just melts applies a lot more seamless so i like to do that little trick and then once i apply with the brush i like to go in with the beauty sponge just to make sure that it is blended forehead and then I just keep applying more on the back of my hand and doing the same thing around my face. Sometimes I will go with the beauty sponge and grab it like that and then apply it on my skin. So either way, it works. I like to do this mostly for my forehead because it is a bigger area. Okay, so now my face is contoured. I'm going to apply the matchstick straight on and I like to draw two lines down my nose to contour my nose and I like to apply it here on the bottom right underneath my lips kind of creates that shadow so it kind of like makes your lips look more fuller down my neck as well just so that it's blended so for my nose I either like to go in with the beauty sponge and just blend or I'll just go in with a brush to blend it out I usually use both I'll just use the same brush that I was using. Alright, so now I'm going to apply some powder, more powder on my nose um, just to contour it. So I like to apply it on the sides. And I'm using the Morphe E25 brush. Apply more on the bottom of my eyes because I'm going to do eyeshadow now. So if there's any fallout, it will get on top of the powder. So I don't have my Anastasia Brow Wiz uh, with me right now. So I'm just going to use the Kat Von D Brow Struck Dimension Powder. Powder in dark brown and I'm using the brow brush by Kat Von D. I really don't have to do much with my brows because I did get them microbladed so I really just to shape them out just a little bit more. Oh my god it's raining! I can hear the rain. Hopefully it stops by the time I finish getting ready. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eyebrow and then I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow. All right guys, so I just finished the eyebrows and I put a little bit of concealer underneath my brows just to clean them up a little bit. Now I'm gonna set them with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and I really like it a lot. Oh my God, you guys, I've had some really bad blisters like inside my mouth. I don't know where they came from, but they freaking hurt like hell. And I cannot eat spicy food, which really, really sucks because I freaking love spicy food. And every time I eat anything that's like sour or spicy, it freaking burns and I cannot enjoy my food. And I really, really hate it. Anybody knows how to get rid of blisters inside the mouth? Let me know in the comment section. I will love you forever. To set my contour, I'm gonna go ahead and use the KKW Beauty Powder Contour and Highlight Kit. So what I like to do, um, I like to mix these two shades. So basically anywhere that I had applied contour. And on my neck, and a little bit on my nose. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to use the new Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. I've been using this palette a lot and I just really, really love the colors, especially these. I'm going to apply a little bit of the Makeup Revolution concealer on my eyelids just to use as like primer. So I'm just going to... Alright, so I'm going to use the KKW Beauty Powders. I'm just mixing them again. Applying in the crease just to use kind of like a transition shade just so that it kind of blends with the rest of my contour so who watched the oscars i was watching the oscars and honestly to me they were kind of boring but i wanted to see the lady gaga and bradley cooper performance and i was not disappointed they did so good and lady gaga like oh my freaking god she just sounds so freaking amazing in that song i love gaga like i saw her documentary on netflix and after that i just like respected her so much she's 
just a really amazing artist and I am so happy that she won an Oscar for a song and she was nominated for best actress like that's huge really really happy for her and her speech was so just humbling her speech was just so motivating and inspiring and I really really just loved her speech a lot that was like one of the best moments whenever they performed in the Oscars the Star is Born movie is so good if you haven't seen it Make sure you watch it. It's really good. From the Natasha Denona palette, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Quion or Quion. Girl, cannot pronounce it. Sorry, guys. But it is the second shade, which is the matte nude shade. I like to use this one as a transition shade as well. So I'm kind of just applying it over the powder contour. I just love the mattes from natasha denona they're so good this little palette is just so so good and of course i am gonna link all the products that i'm using in this video down in the description box below some of them do have affiliate links just to let you know this one is called soil i'm gonna mix it with quillon to deepen up the crease so i'm gonna use a different brush by the way the brush that i was just using is the tapered blending e40 sigma brush um, so the next one that i'm gonna use is the blending e25 sigma brush and if i have my mouth open a lot it's because i cannot breathe through my nose <laughs> i still have allergy so just ignore that all right so now i'm gonna grab the shade soil and just apply it on the outer lid with the same brush okay so now i'm going back to quion quion whatever however you say it and use it to kind of just blend out the edges so i'm gonna keep applying the soil color just to deepen up the outer lid and kind of blending it upwards each time the rodeo comes i feel like it just comes and goes like so fast we've been going pretty much every year since i've been with alfred uh, we try to go to at least one of the concerts so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this bronzy shimmery shade it's called bronzage bronzage i have no idea <laughs> these names are so weird on my lid and i'm using the e55 sigma brush i am gonna wet it i'm gonna go ahead and just apply it all over my lid oh my god do you guys wow i just dipped my brush in there and look at the friggin look at that payoff it's beautiful i just love these kinds of shades it was between this palette and the soft glam palette that i was gonna use today but i've already done a video using the soft glam palette so i wanted to do one using this palette with my finger, I'm going to grab some of this dual chrome shimmer eyeshadow. This is just a really pretty dual chrome eyeshadow. It's just gorgeous. It's called Sienna. So I'm going to grab some on my finger and just kind of use it to blend. So kind of just blend both shades together. So I'm going to do that. Look how gorgeous that is love 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 right, so then i'm gonna highlight the inner corner and my brow bone with the lighter shade in the palette uh, which is called lumino and apply it on the inner corner i mean oh, so pretty and on my brow bone as well i'm gonna apply the bronzy shade on the inner portion of the lower lash line I just feel like it would look so pretty. I'm gonna mix the two matte shades and just apply under my eyes. And then I'm gonna grab just the dark matte shade and apply it on the very outer portion. All right, so I'm gonna do my eyeliner and tight line and I'm using the Eye Define Waterline Pencil by Pixie. So I'm also applying on my waterline. Okay, so for mascara, I'm going to use the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara just to clean up the contour and bake. Alright y'all, so for my blush, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the Diamond and Blush Palette by Natasha Denona. And I'm going to use this for blush and highlight. There is a cream blush in here, so I'm going to apply that first. And then I'm going to grab the powder blush, then apply it on top 
Then I like to go in with the beauty sponge just to kind of make sure it's not too harsh. Okay, I'm gonna remove this now. All right, so I'm gonna apply a little bit of setting spray before I apply my highlighter. So I'm gonna apply the Glow Extreme. A little bit on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin. I'm gonna grab just some of this diamond powder with my finger right at the very top. We are gonna be glowing. This one just really just takes it over the top. I'm gonna grab a little bit of KKW Beauty Brightening Powder number one and just highlight a little bit underneath my eyes. All right guys, so I'm gonna do my lipstick now and I'm gonna use uh, this red lip liner in Red Velvet by Kylie Jenner and Boss Matte Liquid Lipstick. I want my lipstick to last throughout the night, so I'm gonna use a matte liquid lipstick. All right, and then I'm just gonna spray my face one more time. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I'm gonna fix my hair and put on my outfit and then I'll be right back to show you guys the final look. All right guys, so this is the finished look. So this is the top that I'm wearing for today. This whole outfit I got from Windsor store except for my shoes. Uh, so the jeans, the top, and the hat I got from Windsor store and I just thought it was super super cute and yeah so this is the final look. This shirt is kind of like a crop top and then it ties around. You guys can see here it does tie in the back. And these are the boots that I'm gonna wear. They're like booties. I really like these. I've been wearing these like almost every year to the rodeo. They're just really comfortable. They're G by Guess. I've been having these for a really long time. Yeah, and these jeans fit really, really good. I really like the jeans. So yeah, this is the final look.